stairs. God you damn said, it. hey, like you're suspicious what? of the stairs that you're climbing. Okay. All right, hang on, hang on. I need the thing. I'm not going to be on the stairs anymore when I find it. Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> abridged stairs. <laughs> Fuck. I'm probably not even there anymore. God, is this the ending staircase? Oh, I'm still on the stairs. Staircase? I still have time. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> is this the ending staircase in Super Mario 64? No, it hasn't ended. Okay, the transcript. Okay, all right, am I still on the stairs? Yes, I am still on the stairs. Okay, <laughs> where are the stairs? <laughs> Oh my god, so many stairs. I'd like to find whoever invented the stairs and push them down these stairs. <laughs> oh. See how stupid stairs are. Then his life will be broken and he will no longer be able to climb the stairs anymore. It'll be ironic and then his life will leave him and go be with the man who invented the elevator because everyone knows that elevators are much sexier than stairs. And oh my god, I'm not even close to being at the top yet. Why are there so many stairs? <laughs> yeah, I got that right. I got to the top. Cool. <laughs> Yes, Ariel, you watch UVO abridged. Yes. Hey, it was relevant. There was a very long staircase. <laughs> Are we okay. still making UVO abridged? I don't even okay. know. Okay, so everything looks happy. One thing's gonna get fucked up because that's what these games do. Give it like two I'm minutes. Get it. <laughs> Because we Wait. gotta- we gotta- okay, here's the thing that I hate about this scene, because I had to play this a couple times to get the true ending. So you- you just got up, right? You rolled out of bed? Then you come- you come over here and mom and dad are like, okay, it's time for dinner. Here's- you get- you take your food, and go sit down. When- when okay, I- Okay, isn't the mom supposed to be like a machinist or something? No way she would have hair that long, it would get caught in everything. <laughs> Brian, it's anime! <laughs> Neither of care. their hair is the same color as their daughter's. Blonde is a recessive gene that actually isn't impossible. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, you we just rolled out of bed, and it's time for dinner, right? So it's like, oh, okay, alright, we're gonna have a nice little family dinner with our little Cory. And it'll be great. And then, alright, we just finished eating, right? And then you're the dinner! Right. And now it's time for <laughs> bed! <laughs> Guys, I'm so glad this day was great. I got out of bed, we <laughs> ate dinner, and I'm going back to bed. <laughs> Man, what I would give to live like these people. <laughs> 10 out of 10 would day again. <laughs> <laughs> I choked on my own laughter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, that's that is terrible. bugging me. Why is your headboard not against the wall? You know what? I you know I didn't even question that. Out of all the things to question, you're right. What the fuck? Well, it's against the shelf. It's like a like a kind of half wall, maybe like a third of a wall. Who puts it's, the bookshelf enough. in the middle of the room? <laughs> um, uh, it's a corner well. piece. Corner piece. Why is that tree obstructing that the TV? <laughs> okay, who fucked up the the, the vi video settings on the television? Oh, okay, wait, who put the pan <laughs> handle up in front of the cabinet so when you open the cabinet it hits the pan? Jesus. <laughs> maybe it's a spe maybe it's a trap. Maybe maybe it's a trap for intruders. What is this house is falling wait, apart? <laughs> oh wait, we found the glitch in the matrix. Oh, that's what this is. Yeah, see, because we Duh. stole all the power from the heart, so now the Matrix is falling apart. There we go. Right. <laughs> no, no Ariel, we just we just found the, the one flaw in the Matrix was that the headboard wasn't against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. Wondering... I'm about to get Scooby-Doo, guys. I was wondering why why the 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 one is always seems to be a master of interior design. Now we know. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna this is gonna go on for a while, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's like the entirety of chapter four. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Are there any enemies or is this it? Is this, no, no, is there's this enemies much... roaming. Okay. And then the the boss battle for chapter four is really weird. 
it, it's it's just weird. Like I, weird. I barely count it as a boss battle because it's just so strange. Weird compared to normal, or weird compared to the rest of this game? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is gonna be weird. Yeah, it's, it's pretty weird. We're not gonna get to it today. All right. Um, I don't know if uh, this is gonna come through or not, but if you guys hear screaming in the background, my mom's watching a Warriors game right now. Oh. <laughs> Well, I didn't, See? but go ahead and scream. <laughs> I mean, I, I wasn't going to, but okay. <laughs> oh shit, he found me! <laughs> they he found me out. Found me! No! Curses! So wait, what exactly I have a question. What am I trying to do? <laughs> if you could jump, if you could, if you did have hops, your shadow would still collide with the shadow monster, right? Yes. So, would it still eat you? <laughs> Probably, yes. Ugh. Well, that's a bummer. <laughs> Please sit the fuck down, you stupid girl. <laughs> She's doing squats. One! Okay. Two! Three! <laughs> That's one of the things is that you double click to make her sit, but goddamn if she doesn't want to sit sometimes. <laughs> if you walk into that red part, do you die? Yes, the red glitches are bad. Okay. They're also it's also what's making that weird noise. If you have it unmuted. I don't! I will mute it I will unmute it next part though, because it says unmute you assholes. Yes, I named it that so that one I wouldn't forget and two you would notice. <laughs> And I am, and I am nothing if not one who follows directions. So I will, <laughs> <laughs> I will unmute. Yeah, Brian totally put the CG cutscenes to Sonic Heroes in. <laughs> hey, you didn't tell me to do that until it was too late. <laughs> Brian, I told you while you were still recording the game, and you specifically told me, yes, okay. Nah, it's too late. Let's find it. Let's find it in the search. <laughs> Do a ye old search conversation. How the fuck do you even do that anymore? Ariel, Damn you, control find! It was a verbal. It was a verbal agreement. Well, I remember there being a text conversation regarding some extra boss that you were going to record so he could edit it in. Did that even happen? I have uh, no idea. What I think I forgot to record the last story. <laughs> yeah, that, that point. Is what happened? Yeah. <laughs> that was not good editing, but you guys don't care because you didn't have to sit through something five times. Well, see, I blinked, so I missed it entirely. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, they got a big screen TV. Is this their house? Well, now the house is all, like, glitched up and... Shit, but yeah, there's furniture scattered on the ceilings and walls and stuff. This is not what their house get... normally looks like, is what is implied. Go through the fucking did... door! <laughs> did, uh, do we ever get an explanation for this? Or is it just something that's just gonna... Just gonna lie there. Just gonna sit Brian, inside. <laughs> what kind of game do you think this is? A game All right, of yeah, explanations? I, I should've known. <laughs> I should have known. I'm There's sorry. There's not even any myself. words. <laughs> I I didn't I didn't mean verbally. I mean, you know. No, I really don't have a good uh, explanation for the glitch thing. Um, I just don't. Okay. Is it just because apocalypse? Anyway, I picked the wrong door. Uh. Mm, mm. Well oh then. Oh my god! This you is know, one of those games where if you just go through a door, you die. To be fair, I think there's only one death door. Okay, yeah, there, see, I only yeah, have... there shouldn't be anything like that in any game. Oh no, I don't disagree with- Oh man, you would have hated the boss for Chapter 2 that I was ranting about. Again, I edited out all the deaths so it doesn't seem so bad, but once you do the three bombs to it, it shoots a nuke at you. <laughs> and if you don't time it, you die and have to do the whole battle over again. Now see, I don't know about you guys, but I only have one bottomless pit door in my <laughs> house. And I make sure that it's appropriately labeled, damn it! I almost went through the pit door again. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and I was like, okay, well, let's take a look around here, because all of the rooms are actually visible. If you can get Lumen to go far enough. Well, I mean, if you can't tell which door goes to which one, does that really matter? <laughs> it, well, it's important because to get the memory seed that's on that conveyor belt, you have to get a bunch of boxes into that part of the level. The boxes mm. cannot go through doors. Oh. <laughs> so that's, that's why weird. there's all these little gaps. Go through the fucking door! <laughs> Beyond can't go through doors either. <laughs> So like, and again, why can't she think for herself? You know, like because she was born I feel today. I, I, uh, I, then why is she walking? Because she's a clone, <laughs> and reasons. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm just talking general self-preservation here. I know I've brought this up already, but still. Like, why would you walk off of ledge? Because she's <laughs> it doesn't make a any little sense to me. Stupid. Okay. <laughs> she also can't open doors. <laughs> also, she. How long is this all supposed to take? Because she hasn't eaten. <laughs> um. Brian, yeah. photosynthesis. Oh, do you not see the branches coming out of her head? <laughs> Right, yes. yes, she we is are supposed to be. She is though. starving because there's no leaves. Yeah. <laughs> um, Just tape some leaves on. Boom, well, let's see. Off. If you. Let me check. Because give me, give if me you two more years and I'll link this to the high rule Astoria. Because if Wait a minute. Don't if there's no sunlight, then how are these trees growing at all anyway? Maybe they're <laughs> fake trees. Maybe they're fake trees. No, um, that'd be really weird, but Ariel, I not guess all it's trees. a possibility. Not all trees. Okay, so you could potentially beat this game in five hours. <laughs> okay, I guess that's... Okay, I'm out of time. Ten hours if you die a lot. Or if you're me, <laughs> it's probably... Well, let's check. <laughs> oh, it's not gonna have it anymore because I switched computers. Oh, no. Uh, it took me eight hours, apparently. So I actually didn't die that much. In the grand scheme of things. Did I mention that there's the achievements for dying a lot? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you did die three hours worth. Uh, yeah, so the only achievements for dying are ten times and a hundred times, and I would not be surprised if I broke a thousand times. <laughs> um, here's another question that I have. Uh, so, corpses, right? Yeah. Kind of implies that a lot of clones. Yes. A lot of clones. Up in Where are their clothes coming from? So, they, we haven't gotten to this memory <laughs> fragment yet, but the parents are going to make a machine... That clones me on. Right. Okay. And when and, uh, everything gets fucked up because of a, the bomb, it just keeps going. Right. Uh, I, 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 you misheard me. Uh, you thought I said clones. I said clothes. Clothes. Oh. Well. <laughs> okay. That's fair. <laughs> they are. Because you can't grow clothes. You can clone. <laughs> Clothes if you are a botanist. <laughs> but no, you plant well, fibers. And clearly Excellent. they are because <laughs> the the tree branch ears. Yeah, no, one of them's a botanist and the other one is some other kind of scientist. We're not sure. <laughs> okay. And together so, um, they yes. made a cloning machine. Yeah. <laughs> and a clothing um, machine. <laughs> See, they're cloning the plant fibers in the dress, and she actually can't take it off. Well, this just got next level creepy. <laughs> <laughs> but how how is she supposed to get dressed for wait, her quinceanera? So, Are there quinceaneras in wait, post apocalyptic so world? Technically, mean she's naked. Oh my god! Oh my god! Rated M! Oh, avert your eyes! Oh, or like rated. <laughs> 
<laughs> Actually, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, we got we got reel it back. <laughs> Actually, there is a game that is technically that was that was made for the PS2 that is technically illegal. Oh, is that's promising. Is it illegal because of the reason that we were making this illegal? Okay, it's, it's not. At, it's, it's not like it is that, but not in a way that's horrifying. <laughs> Okay. So, Are you sure? <laughs> yes. So, uh, fuck, what was it called? I think it was called, like, the guy game or some shit. Probably. And it was this really, like, uh, like, very distasteful, like, quiz show thing. And if you got, qu uh, and the, the, it was basically an excuse for the developers to go to a beach one summer and ask a bunch of drunk, drunk women to sh take off their tops. And whenever you get a question right, they show a clip of that. But the thing is, they never <laughs> asked these girls what their age was. And one of them was 17. <laughs> and she sued them. That is so fucking and stupid. so, <laughs> that is the, one of the few games that were officially published that are illegal to own in the United States. Oh my god. Why did they that is so fucking, fucking stupid. <laughs> all of it. All of it's stupid. Yeah. I'm not saying... Every part of it was stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying, oh, you know, the, the fact that it's legal is stupid. But the fact that they were recording drunk women taking off their tops, that's fine. That's okay. Well, I think the studio... <laughs> it's was not. Going it's not okay. <laughs> I think the studio was going under, so they just used whatever money they had left to go do some really <laughs> creepy stuff. Yeah, it's pretty fucking creepy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys like memories. Oh I cool, I got through, this another I got thing. through that puzzle. <laughs> anyway. Holy shit! <laughs> You know what? The clones don't work right away. It takes a lot of time. Clean up! Ditto. Oh my god! <laughs> They're ditto. It, it would help if he wasn't a botanist. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you know, I wasn't trained my for this. Years of college prep work have failed me. <laughs> <laughs> Why won't they grow? Why won't they grow? <laughs> and why do See, I just this is leave why them he married around? a not botanist. <laughs> why do I just leave them lying around my lap? That's just where they died. Oh he hasn't cleaned them up yet. He's too distraught. Well, maybe he should fucking stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, he can't Wait. stop because his wife isn't a botanist and she's going to get it right. And then they combine their powers to make a plant girl. Oh, I mean, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Combined, we are Captain Planet. Okay, Brian. <laughs> Alright, Brian. If, I combine, if we combine our powers, we can make an antenna with feelings. <laughs> 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 you know what? <laughs> I think that's publishable. <laughs> All right, it's novel. The applications are obvious. I don't, know, I don't even need to explain them. They're that obvious. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I have I have a very large antenna type thing up in my garage right now. You should come over to my house and give it feelings. <laughs> All right, but unfortunately, I'm also gonna have to give it like a will to live, and like <laughs> other other things that come along with sentience. Uh, you know what? So I'm not I'm not really sure if we should be doing this. Playing I mean, God like... with an antenna in your garage. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it can leave. I don't really need it anymore. So if it wants to go off, it can. But it can't move. <laughs> All right. That's true. <laughs> Unless you're going to also build it little antenna legs. 
<laughs> okay, I, I see the problem. <laughs> Go under cruel and unusual. I don't think we get approval for this. <laughs> well, you know, most the best science is an approved aerial. <laughs> Can we get a consent form from the antenna? <laughs> All right, I'll draw. I'll draw the form, and uh, I'll just lay it down next to the antenna with a pen, <laughs> and come back the next day. <laughs> yeah, you know what? If it's signs of its own free will, then you know what? They, they have to accept it. <laughs> no other option. 